Hello, I am Brad Scott, and this is my art. And today I'm going to continue my Minotaur series, and um, I'm going to deviate just a little bit. And instead of drawing a straight Minotaur, I'm going to draw a bull, but with a little bit of a twist. I'm going to draw a bull with a maiden rider, and the bull is going to be doing a jump, kind of like horse jumping. Um, except it'll be bull jumping with a rider. Um, people who follow the Minotaur, the Minotaur uh, was conceived by uh, a queen that made it with a bull, and that's where the Minotaur was born. So it makes sense to also in the Minotaur series have drawings of bulls with maidens. So. I'm going to start again with my line of action and uh, the reference that I'm using, I'm using my bull anatomy as typical, but also I've looked at um, horse jumping to kind of get the line of action and I can go with either that, that spring up, that, that up jump of the horse or that, that as, it, as it peaks. And I think I want to go with something like that. Um, but then I got to get that launching point as well. So let me, I want to change, eh, let, me, let me experiment with a few things here. So I could get the peak of the jump almost like that. Or the thrust of the jump like that. All depends on how much I want up here at the top and do I want the launch of the legs or do I want the trail of the legs either way I want it to be smooth so I could come up and down like that if I did that that would put the head somewhere around there with the body legs or hips legs and then I'd have a maiden rider right there so I think I'm gonna go with that I like that. I think that'll be a good composition so I'm gonna go ahead and erase this and clean it up a little bit now I have been experimenting with different camera and lighting placements I'm just getting my video setup started um, so it's not complete I have a pretty decent camera but I don't really think I have the proper boom equipment to place it right um, so I will get better at this and I also have another microphone coming because I'm not sure if just using the microphone on the camera is the best solution as well. So back to what we were saying, we're going to go with a line of action like that. Get that the launch. Boom. So if I do that, that puts the head here. Nope, I don't like that. Never be afraid to erase if you don't like something. Um, when you're just doing exploration, you can keep it kind of messy. Again, this is not a drawing tutorial. This is just what I like to do. Um, hopefully there are some tips and hints in here that can help you. Um, but I want the horns at the crest. So that would put the triangle there cut off it for me the way I look at the bull head is I place the horns first and then I draw a triangle and I cut off part of it and I cut off part of it and now I have a nice kind of a bull head right there just the general shape of it and from there 
and I don't even know if you can see that let me adjust the light a little bit that might be a little bit better right there okay and what I was saying is I place the horns first and then I draw my triangle and I cut off the bottom and the tip and that gives me a good reference for the bull head right there and he's launching again it's more of a bull than a minotaur for this particular drawing so I'm gonna come give it a nice strong back strong shoulders it's jumping over so the legs come kind of like that they curve around like that so that would mean that there's the shoulder the arm arm and foot like that nice strong shoulders and then there's the shoulder bone the, uh, the arm forearm foot hoof at the end and then the hips would be somewhere down here but he's launching I don't want to have a, an extremely long back and look weird so but I do want to show the power of the shoulders. Get a nice arc. Ooh, I love that. I love that smooth flowing arch like that. So I'm going to keep that. And I think the proportions are just right. And then I'm going to launch those back legs like that. And the bone will come out, down, launching. And maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit straighter here. So if I come down, back, back, get more of a launch out that way, and then the back hoofs. Okay, I like that. Give the belly of the bull coming off those strong shoulders and it's going to extend to that leg and if you saw the first one Remember that the tail comes off of the spine, not out of the butt, but off of the spine. So it'll come out and down like that. And I like the way that looks already. So now that I like the that action, I'm going to go ahead and solidify some of these lines that that I like and give the bull a nice silhouette. Nice strong back coming back into a nice launch jaw I'm liking that and from the shoulder This, if 
we if I say that there's the shoulder which has more meat around it than the leg itself it won't be as defined but then as the shoulder comes into the arm of the bull into that first joint it's a lot more defined coming down into the first uh, the second joint and then down into the hoof Okay, I like that. And the second leg, we'll just give it a little indication back here. Maybe it's a little bit higher. into the back like that okay that's looking good I like that some good bone structure to work off of now that is a joint in there so I want to make sure I capture that and then give the bull a nice strong chest strong underbelly it's gonna come around and now working on those hind quarters tail comes off the spine and out joints right there strong joints right there or actually right there and right there this show uh, these hind quarters are gonna come off like that and come down Make sure I indicate the joints. And this is actually going to come a little bit like that. It's probably more like that. And then down into the back hoof. Something like that. Just probably digging in maybe something like that and the other one is is kind of just mirroring mirror mirroring it to the rear Okay, I think that looks pretty decent. Now I will not ink all of these lines, but I like to put all of my construction lines in just so I have a good framework to to work off of. It works for me. And then when I ink, I will decide which lines I want to show and the, the, which one I don't. But I like that. I think that provides a good silhouette for the bull itself. And now the rider. So rarely do you see uh, 
say like rodeo clowns jumping bulls or something like that so if I if you look at um, equestrian uh, jumpers they kind of sit high up on the shoulders of the horse I want to make sure I don't lose this part of it because the rider can't go past into the bull it sits on top of the bull but they sit kind of high up and the knees are probably somewhere into the shoulder and they're usually on a saddle but this is going to be bareback so they would have to lay their hips on the bull itself instead of sitting in the saddle and standing up in the stirrups so if that's the case I'm going to drop the knee just a little bit more and bring it down so that it's clamping the legs around the bull. So if we're clamping the legs around the bull, the legs aren't going straight out like that. They're actually coming this way so you would see probably a three-quarter view of the leg and then the hips are going to have to lay on the shoulders of the bull something right around right around there and we give the rider some junk in the trunk you know and then if we just have them grabbing the mane of the bull because it won't have a, a, a bridle um, and reins that it can grab onto so she's going to be holding on to the hair say here and here and keeping the dimensions pretty squared away this leg may have to actually be a little bit longer and then come down a little bit further to get the, the dimensions that I want the right proportions so if I do that and now I can say probably the torso is around this area here Yes, I like that. And there's your shoulder, and that would be the torso itself. And actually, I'm going to have them holding on, or her, not them, holding on with her left tight. And if, if the elbow would be here, if I swing it out, the elbow would be right around there. Shoulder, biceps, triceps, forearm. with a grip of the main and then the other arm is given it a separate line of action for a sword thrust oh yeah I'm liking this in the direction it's going and so if I shoulder bicep tricep elbow forearm that might be a little bit too short lengthen it out just a little bit and then here with a sword or lance or some type of weapon and then leaning into the uh, the bull 
the head would be around here somewhere the next flowing coming off like that start shaping it up like that can you see that again the light is kind of flooding it out I've got to get better at this lighting thing right it's like what are you doing oh my god you're making it worse what the heck is going on there maybe that's better right there so there's the head and the face the jaw the back of the head comes down into the shoulders arch the back into the butt thigh comes out Breast coming in, coming down like that, but they'll be hidden by the shoulder a little bit. And this is a warrior, so she's not going to be some little frilly. She'll be feminine, but not not fragile. She will have muscle tone. Grabbing the mane, the tufts of the mane and now I'm going to take the bull horns into the same direction um, maybe uh, let me see let me see let me see maybe like that horns will originate here they'll end here so I can take lots of routes to get there which one do I like the most though that's the cool thing about bull horns they don't have to make sense to look cool they can grow any way you want if you look at bulls their horns Sometimes you look at them and be like, how the heck did that bull get horns like that? Um, do I want to bring them down and around? Or just back and up? See, that's too plain. I think I want to come down and out. And I'm going to have to angle them just a little bit. It's okay to erase. Keep it clean. There we go. That's that's the line I want. Boom. So if that's the case. And this comes off like that. This comes around like that, and then I finish off the curve like that. And now I can still get a good view of the muscularity of the bowl itself. I like that. And can you see it? Because the lights all jacked up.
Okay. So I've got that kind of lined out now. Do a little mean mug on the the bull. Kind of flare out the snout a little bit maybe. And for this one maybe open up the mouth a little bit. And flare the nostrils. Maybe some smoke coming out. Definitely give the bull some personality in the face. Strong jaw, which if I'm going to open the mouth, I would drop it a little bit. The joint stays in place and the jaw moves out. Still keep a strong, thick neck, strong chest, make sure I keep the natural curve going, draw through to make sure that the curve stays natural. It's okay to draw through especially with pencil because you can just erase the parts you don't want or just don't ink that in the inside. But if I've got a space. Say this is something right there and I keep saying this is not a tutorial and then I'm like trying to provide advice but just not a tutorial but things I've learned along the way how about that if you got if I got something here and I go okay another part is going to intersect it and if I go it'll come in here and it'll come out about there maybe that's right um, but it might be awkward or wrong so I just go ahead and draw through it and then I realize ah the natural curve would be like that and then when I erase that middle part it actually looks better because your eyes and your mind can connect that finish that curve whereas your mind probably was like that's wrong so just a little something I learned, not something I invented, and it, it wasn't necessarily one person that, you know, told me to draw through just about every art instructor I had, draw through, draw through, draw through, Otherwise, because you can usually tell when something's funky because the person didn't draw through and it looks wrong. And the one thing I learned from art, comic artist Frank Cho, and he's not just comic artist, he's actually a great painter as well. Um, he, you know, a lot of people go, how do you know if something's right or wrong and blah, 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 blah. And he said it's really simple. If it looks right, it's right. If it's looked wrong, it's wrong. That's it. Keep it simple. And I love it. I'm like, yeah, I like that philosophy. So, and I like the way this came out. There we go. Oh, that. How about that? Is that better? It might be better. So now I've got a nice set of horns. I got to figure out what kind of weapon I'm actually going to give her. But she's charging. with the bull strong arms and I think
think I want to give her some type of head dressing. I don't know. Yeah, I do. I want to give her some type of headdress. It'll be something like that. I can work out the details. And then the it'll go around the hair. And so a hair will be coming out and over. It's like a tiara. And since they're going, I'll have the bull's mane flowing back. And then I'll have her mane flowing back as well. And then I'll start carving in the face. Hair. And I really don't know what type of clothing she's going to wear yet, so I'll have to figure that out as well. Good muscularity, but lean, not bulky. And I can tighten that up a little bit. out the back just a little bit to keep the nice little silhouette there the breasts come up under the arm and then the body would connect there and that might that waist might be a little too thin and then this leg comes out over down into the big toe back into the ankle give her some nice strong legs square it up wrapped around the bull back and I think that is a good sketch to refine and ink. I like that. I like that a lot. I got to figure out what kind of garb she's going to be wearing um, and the focal point. So I'm going to, the focal point will be up here somewhere. So this will be the mass part of the detail and then as you move further away less detailed so this won't be super detailed to detract from here and I actually am really happy with the way this is coming together I love the composition so far I can definitely take this one and push it to the back in shadow. I don't even need to detail this leg out. It's not a focal point. Same thing back here. This bottom back leg can be shadowed out. It's not going to be a focal point. And I got to give the Actually, I think that leg should be a little bit bigger. A little thicker thigh right there.
I have to give a reason for the bull to be jumping, right? Now that I have a, a good composition of the main uh, characters that I want to portray, I have to put them in some type of environment, some type of background, and I need a reason for them to be jumping, and jumping into battle is a very good reason because she's actually armed and, you know, looks like she's charging into battle. So, without going into too much detail, um, I could do rocks. Um, I could do enemy. Going to go with a low horizon somewhere around here. And this battlefield will be set against some type of How cool would it be for a waterfall if I did that? Oh, that might be cool. It might be too much because it's definitely going to yeah, I'll see how it looks. If, this, if, I, if I'm coming off a cliff here and, you know, jagged rock and then this is just the waterfall in the back. I actually don't like that because it should point into the focal point. So doing that, it's kind of like, eh, maybe it works. The waterfall is falling down and you follow that into the bull jumping into a nice V. I just have to make sure that I don't uh, make this waterfall a separate focal point and I bring the water down into the bull, the bull jumping into the focal point. That may actually work. And then here would just be a different type of horizon water. So here In this section, it'd be the water. This section would be the battleground. And then in the back, sky, or maybe a low mountain or something. I like that. I like that. I think that'll work. This could be some type of natural landscaping feature. Water. And I'm using this to push into the focal point. I think that's going to turn out to be a good painting. Because this sketch is really just laying down the composition that I want to do a digital painting. So I'll go ahead and detail this out a little bit. I got to come up with a wardrobe for the warrior. I got to pick a weapon. It may just be a typical sword or it may be a trident or something. I don't know. Something different. A Halliburton. Um, put some armor on her. And then ink it, scan it, and digitally paint it. And then I'll have an original um, that I can use multiple times for different projects, but I, I I think better traditionally, and I can lay stuff out better traditionally. I could have done all of this digitally, 
Um, but I kind of still like the feel of the pencil and the paper and just being able to work with it until I get a composition that I like. Now I could really just take this and scan it and just start painting it. I have enough here for that to do that and then I could even play with different type of wardrobes which I might do actually um, even if I put a wardrobe on her in this picture when I do it digitally I may come up with various different types of armament until I find one that I like best but this will definitely be the focal point up here I definitely want her wearing some type of headgear and and I want the fit the two together to kind of be that focal point so I hope you enjoyed uh, you know you could call this thumbnail sketching or you could just call it composition layout or you know whatever for me I just call it my um, ideation sketch uh, but I hope you enjoyed it I hope you look forward to seeing this finished picture um, I, if you go to my Instagram I will be posting the inked drawing so you can you've seen how I laid out the composition if you go to Instagram in a couple of days you'll see the final details I put in and the pen and ink drawing and then come back here in a week or two for the final digital painting of this drawing here I haven't named the characters I have been naming all of my bulls and all of my maidens. I haven't picked a name for them yet, so I'll do that as well. And so go to Instagram and check it out in a couple of days, and then come back here and check out the next video after that. I'm Brad Scott. This is my art. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little while. And if you like it, thumbs up. How does that work? How does that work? Thumbs up. If you didn't like it, shoot me the thumbs down. Leave a comment either way. Let me know what you like or didn't like about it, um, what you would change, and um, maybe I'll redo it. Maybe you know you all have some suggestions and you're like, hey, do this instead. Maybe I'll redo this drawing, or maybe I'll just do something digitally to tweak it a little bit. And then uh, you know I'm sitting here and I just want to keep, I want to keep adding. I see parts that I'm like ooh I can add in some really nice muscle features to that neck and make it stand out so that you can see the the muscularity of the bull Ugh. Um, but anyway thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you didn't leave a comment either way if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe or just check back now and then but I appreciate it and if you want to share this with other people who might be into fantasy or uh, role-playing games or uh, Greek mythology, that's what got me into this. So, or into this particular uh, series that I'm doing. And so, thanks a lot for sticking it out, and I will talk to you later.